This short video tutorial will help you understand how to properly set up your computer to participate in Arcus's Polar Connect events, CARE seminars, and other interactive web seminars and presentations using the WIMBA program. WIMBA is an internet-based classroom that enables live audio web conferencing, online presentations, polling, and private and public text chat. WIMBA is easy to set up and use, and its flexibility allows classrooms and individuals to participate in ways that best fit their technological capabilities. There is no cost associated with participating in these events, and no software will be downloaded to your computer. For most Arcus events, including Polar Connect live events and CARE seminars, the event is announced in advance through various email lists and website postings. You will be asked to register for the event using an online web form. After completing the web form, an automatic message, including instructions for joining the event, will be sent to you via email. The information you provide us is very important because it helps us prepare for the event, get a sense of how many participants will be on the live event, and provides Arcus with important statistical participation data. Registration also enables you to receive instructions, updates, and the agenda and other links and relevant material related to the live event. Most people in classrooms will have the supplies needed to participate in a WIMBA event. Each live event has an audio and visual component, and certain tools are necessary to make both of these parts work for you. First, you need a computer. Because no software is required, almost any computer will do, and you can use a Mac or a PC. You must have access to an internet connection to take advantage of all the features of the live event, and preferably this is a high-speed internet connection. To listen to the audio portion of the event, you will need either a telephone with a speakerphone, or your computer should have a microphone and speakers. Many new computers have these things built in, but for older computers you may have to buy these accessories separately. If you are screening the event for a classroom or a large audience, you will need a projector that connects to your computer and a screen or something similar. You will also need to make sure your audience can hear throughout the room, so you may need a speakerphone, microphone, or bigger speakers to connect to your computer. Or, if you don't have any of these things, you can actually join a live event using just a telephone to call in to the audio portion. You can contact info at polartrek.com and we will send you a PDF of the slides so that you can participate in the live event without actually having an internet connection. Well before the live event, make sure that the computer you will be using on the day of the live event is properly configured to run WIMBA. Open your internet browser and you will need to make sure that pop-ups are enabled and your computer can accept cookies. I will describe how you can configure your internet browser for WIMBA in Google Chrome, Safari, and Firefox, although many other internet browsers will probably have a similar process. In Google Chrome, go to Preferences, Under the Hood, Content Settings, and in the Cookies section, make sure Allow Local Data to be Set is checked. Under the Pop-Ups tab, make sure Allow All Sites to Show Pop-Ups is checked. When using Safari, go to Preferences, Security, and make sure that Block Pop-Up Windows is not checked, and make sure that cookies are accepted only from sites I visit. In Firefox, go to Preferences, and in the Preferences tab, go to Content, and make sure that Block Pop-Up Windows is not checked. Then go to Privacy, and make sure that Accept Cookies from Sites is checked. 
If you are uncomfortable with any of the change settings in your internet browser, you can always change them back after the event. In our next step, we'll go to the Wimba site to run the setup wizard. In the URL area of your browser, type http colon backslash backslash channel dot horizon Wimba dot com. On the right hand side of the page, click the link to run the setup wizard. The wizard will run a series of tests to ensure your computer is set up for participation. When you're ready to begin the wizard, press start. As you can see, the wizard runs through some things automatically and for some things you will need to follow instructions on the page and press next. Congratulations! If you can hear this message, audio playback is working properly on your computer. Please click next to continue. Congratulations! If you during this test, I will test the talk button on my computer by pressing the talk button in the wizard and waiting for the playback. Testing. Testing. If your computer has successfully gone through the setup wizard, you are ready to participate. On the day of the event, give yourself 5 to 10 minutes to get logged into Wimba and connected to the webinar. Start by going once again to channel.horizonwimba.com. Once the page is loaded, select Participant Login. This will open a new window and enter the following information. For room ID, enter Arcus underscore live. A R C U S underscore L I V E. This is case sensitive, so make sure all the letters of Arcus are capitalized and the L on live is capitalized. Also, don't forget the underscore between the two words. In the name field, you can type whatever you'd like. Enter your full name or your classroom name. This can be anything and is not case sensitive. This is how others on the live event will recognize you. When you have completed this step, press enter. It will take a moment as the page loads but eventually you will be in the Wimba lobby. Once the lobby is fully loaded, you're going to select the room you want to join. In this case, it's Arctic Research Consortium of the United States. Here again, it may take a few moments for the page to load, depending on your internet connection. But eventually, you'll see the different components of the Wimba interface loading, as well as a welcome slide. You know that you're officially in the presentation room when you see your name listed at the bottom in the list of people on the event. Once you have connected to and become familiar with the Wimba interface, you can connect to the audio part of the program one of two possible ways. If you have a microphone and a speaker built into your computer or connected to your computer, you can actually use the computer to listen, talk, and interact during the live event. This is called voice over IP 
and these capabilities are located within the Wimba platform. Simply press and hold the talk button the entire time you're trying to talk. When the button is not pressed, your line will be muted to the rest of the conference. When you press and hold the talk button while speaking, everybody should be able to hear you. If you are unable to use Voice over IP capabilities, you can also join the audio portion using a regular telephone. After you have logged into Wimba for the visual part of the conference, get out your phone and dial 1-800-766-1337. When prompted, enter the participant code 5436679, followed by the pound sign. This will connect you to the audio portion of the webinar. This phone number and conference code will always be included in the instructions emailed to you when you register for a live event. On the administrative side of things, Arcus creates a phone bridge between the participants on the phone and those on Wimba so that we can all talk and hear one another whether we're on the phone or joining over the computer. If you are using a phone to connect your classroom or large audience to the event, background noise can cause distractions on the conference call. You may mute your telephone line by dialing star 6. To unmute, simply dial star 6 again. If using the telephone, you will need to mute the volume on your computer. Not doing this will result in an echoing sound or feedback during the live event. The Wimba interface will always be introduced at the start of the event, but here is a quick overview of the features of Wimba and how they work. In the central area here is where the slides will change during the event. Right below it, you can see three green bars. They may also be yellow bars or red bars. This shows your connection level to the, uh, the Wimba interface. To talk using voice over IP, talking through your computer with the microphone, you press and hold the talk button and other participants on the line will hear you. If you aren't pressing your talk button, your line is automatically muted to the rest of the participants. In the lower left-hand corner, you can chat to the main room or you can chat to individual participants on the call by selecting their name in the pull-down menu and typing something to them. Just to the right of that, you'll see a list of participants on the call. Um, if you're interested in asking a question during the live event, you can press the hand button and a number will show up next to your name, specifying to the facilitators um, who should be called on first, second, third, and so forth. You can click the hand button again after your answer has been given to your question. Um, you can also have a poll during the, uh, the event, so you can vote yes or you can vote no. If you're having any kinds of problems during the event, you can either exit or go back to the lobby and come back into the Wimba interface, and sometimes that solves the problems. If you need help while you are setting up your computer or during the webinar, please contact Arcus at 907 474-1600 or email us at info at polartrek.com. For more information, such as answers to frequently asked questions, additional troubleshooting help, tips for participating classrooms, and more, you can visit www.polartrek.com. From the homepage, click Polar Connect and it will take you to a wealth of resources related to live events.